I am very much happy to see you people that you are attempting in a very right direction. You are getting the point of intersection very accurate, accurately. But once you need to draw the picture, row picture and color picture, you are in trouble. Computing modeling, you must know how to interpret the real life problem in terms of equation and how to interpret the equation in terms of graphical formation. Graphical formation is nothing else except the real life problem. So if we are talking about the first solution of this, we just can do it simply by this one is the equation first, this one is our second equation by considering the value of x from equation 2 it will become 2y minus 1 substitute this value of x in equation 1 you will get after multiplication 4y this y become 5y and here this minus 2 will become 5 another side so you will get 5y 5 or simply you can say y equal to 1 yeah there are many methods okay but this is the one of the simplest way for getting the point of intersection of course this value of y can help out to determine the value of x in any of equation 1 or 2 and what's the value of x then? 1. one. one. So we can say point of intersection 1, 1. Or you can say this is kind of a solution set. Is it okay? Yes. However, if we are asking that find out its row picture, of course we need to go row by row. First, we consider the first row. At first place we are considering first row, at second place we will consider the second row. Okay, I am proceeding to the next page. 2x plus y equal to 3. Row picture. Two x plus y equal three. Of course, here graphical formation x axis y axis. Now we can assume from the scratches that for x value of zero, what will be the value of y? For once x is at zero position, y will at three at this position. And okay, we say if x equal zero, this will give us y equal three. Now this is just on random basis, okay? We can consider any value, but we are going in ascending or ascending order. For x equal to 1, what will be the value of y? One. 1. If we are considering x is 1, value of y become 1. This is a point. So you may consider 2 or 3 or more points, but if we connect these two points, and we are extending the lines on both the sides then we will get this equation of line. Now consider the another case row picture for our second equation this one x minus 2y equal to 1 to minus 1 x minus 2y equal minus 1. This is, okay, I'm using blue color for it. So if x equal to 0, what will be the value of y? If x 
equal zero, it will give y equal half. Brilliant. So somewhere at this point. Uh, if x equal one, what will the value of y? One. So if x is one, value of y one. Now connect these two cross by extending the line on both sides will get this okay this equation of line so point of intersection this is the point of intersection at 1 1 this is the row picture is it really difficult no. row picture basically tells us the algebraic formation now see the column picture column picture will tell us the geometry okay let's see both here if we are considering this uh, the two equations we can consider the coefficient 2 1 along x axis okay so 2, 1 along y axis 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 equal to what the coefficient of constant? 3 minus 1 We know these formations follow what? This formation follow this expression. And of course, here we will have this expression A inverse B. If we are talking about inverse, we are talking about the image. Okay? Over there, reverse of it, something. So let's we see there are two vectors v1 v2 now for vector v1 for first component first element is x second element is y so once the value of x is 2 what's the value of y 1 so this so point is here or you can say vector is like this and for this vector v2 for x once x is 1 for x is once x is 1 y is minus 2 so here So at this point somewhere as you can say vector is like this is it okay we know the point of intersection is what point of intersection is my children we know in the previous point x y equal to 1 1 so here 1 1 so once you will evaluate it you will get this side, or you can say x axis. If we inverse the vector, it means we are changing its direction. Yes. So yes, here, yes please. So here in this scenario, what will happen? In inverse case, our if we are inversing first v1 to the lower side and the v2 to the upper side, we will get this kind of formation. Now, previously we have this one is the v1 and this one is the v2 
2. Now, here we have V1 and V2. This is the inverse. This tells us what? That if you are having some U phone or some kind of transmit wireless or some uh, mobile telephone signal tower, they will cover the area in this range. In, inside of this range. This is the geometry. Once we are in our intermediate level, OI level study, we are talking about the A inverse Kramer. So inverse is what? Basically inverse is the inverse of vectors or inverse of matrix. Okay? Basically this is a solution set. X and Y. This X and Y basically solution. We are not just substituting this one. We know that it is equivalent to this one. We already justify it. Point of intersection. We determined it. Okay? So, you are having this one, and technically you are, inverse, you are uh, inversing the vectors, vector formation. Yes. You are getting some image, inverse. So, you are this, these two vectors are having this yellow color image. Okay? 